Hello friends, this video on solid states part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next type of point defect I'll be discussing is the impurity defect. So here some foreign elements are involved in case of impurity defect because talk about impure that means some foreign elements are foreign elements involved. Example is you have this sodium chloride in the molten state, you melt it and then add SRCl to little amount in NaCl, molten and this is very little amount. So what will happen is this SR will be nothing but SR2 plus and Cl minus and Cl minus. This NaCl is nothing but Na plus and Cl minus. They will be in the molten state. So what will happen is to maintain the neutrality again, if you add one SR, right? One SR is equivalent to two Na plus. As far as charge is concerned, because it has two positive charge, Na has one positive charge, so two Na will give two positive charge. So if one of this Na is replaced with SR, then one space will be vacant to maintain neutrality, right? Because one SR will occupy, will kick two Na out. So two Na is kicked out and one SR is occupying the space and one is vacant. This is my SR and this is a vacant space. Hope you are trying to understand what I am trying to say. So two Na is kicked out from this crystal and one SR is capable enough to provide the similar amount of charge. But one SR can occupy only one space. One space will be vacant. Correct. So in this cationic vacancy is created. And if you observe it, the number of cationic vacancies created is nothing but the number of SR ions added. Correct. So one SR will create one cationic frequency. This is just to maintain neutrality. Similar in case of CdCl2 and AgCl. So you take AgCl and you add CdCl2. So in Cd has plus two charge. So one Cd will kick out two silver. Occupy one silver place and one silver place will be empty. So you'll get this kind of defect. This is called impurity defect where we have four foreign elements and foreign elements are creating problems. So in this case, sodium chloride, SR is creating problem. It is kicking two sodium out, occupying one space and one space is vacant. Let's talk about non-stoichiometric defect. In case of non-stoichiometric defect, it disturbs, it disturbs stoichiometry of the crystal. In fact, a large number of non-stoichiometric uh, defect exist. I mean, in fact, I mean to say the large number of uh, crystals exist which has non-stoichiometric defect in the organic, inorganic world. There are two types mainly metal excess and metal deficiency. So let's understand the metal excess. In fact, the metal excess also is by two ways. One is, one is due to anionic frequency. And the next is due to extra cation in interstitial site or at. So let's understand the first one due to anionic vacancy. See alkyl halides like sodium chloride, potassium chloride, etc. They show this defect. So when you heat this sodium chloride, for example, you take the sodium chloride. And when you heat this with sodium vapors, you heat this with sodium vapors. So a lot of sodium vapors will come out, right? Here, it will be here, nearby here. Now what happens is a lot of sodium vapors are deposited on the surface, correct? 
just to avoid confusion i am drawing only two sodium vapor crystals now this chlorine the green ones chlorine will come out to the surface and it will react with na so the reaction will be something like this cl minus will come out will react with na so what will happen so in this the moment it will react it will become any cl and electron will come out why because sodium will become na plus because sodium was more happy to become na plus is more stable and electron will come out correct and this chlorine came out of the surface so who will occupy the space of this the electron will occupy the space of this for example if you see here so from this place one chlorine came out one chlorine came out that there is a chlorine here see there was a chlorine here this chlorine came out and this chlorine reacted with the sodium here it forms nacl and electron is extra and this electron took this place of this chlorine this this particular like again say let us say correct so cl minus diffuse to the surface combined with na plus to form nacl the electron is lost as i showed you this released electron diffused back into the crystal and occupy the anionic site now if you see crystal has now less sodium because sodium went out now sorry chlorine went out so it has more excess sodium Chlor this was a chlorine this was a chlorine here chlorine went out so it has excess sodium so it has excess sodium but it has electron also correct and this anionic site occupied by electron is called f center this is called right f center f centers actually f centers yeah this anionic site is called f centers f is for ben center that means color because this imparts color for example in this case nacl will get a yellow color and why this gives color see we have seen the bohr model also this electrons can easily be excited when when you give some charge elect or some energy to it the electrons will jump and it will come back in atom and and then it will release energy right it will it will uh, release some color same thing happens when light falls on this electron it jumps and, and then it comes back on its own state when it comes back on its own state it releases color and that's why it gives a yellow color right same thing x in you take lcl you take lcl and you put excess of li right li vapor same thing will happen right cl minus will come out and uh, you get this electron center f centers and with this you get pink color so the lcl becomes lithium chloride becomes pink same thing if you take potassium chloride and again you have to uh, heat this with lot of potassium you get violet color here also you get f center f center correct so sodium chloride you got yellow color with uh, potassium chloride or lithium chloride you get pink and violet color the next type of defect as i told was due to extra cations in the interstitial site so here we get the defect due to extra cations in the interstitial site. for example zinc oxide is one example zinc oxide this is white in color correct at room temperature so when you heat this it forms zn2 plus oxygen and electrons this oxygen is gas it will go off now there is excess of zinc so what will happen is this zinc it will move to some interstitial site and electron will also move to some neighboring site somewhere so with this if you see it will have excess of zinc the formula of zno will become zno1 plus x something o because this has more of zinc now correct 
and with this it gives a yellow color this is yellow so that is a good example of metal excess defect where you have extra cations in the interstitial site now let's talk about metal deficient defect this is generally shown by feo because feo is found in this form fe0.950 there's a deficient of metal here so what happens is generally if you see here this is fe2 plus and o2 minus correct but if i have fe3 plus in fact two of fe3 plus this is equivalent to fe2 plus fe2 plus and fe2 plus what i'm saying is right so 2 fe3 plus is equivalent to 3 of fe2 plus why because the net charge here is 6 net charge here is 6 so if i have 2 fe3 plus going through the system that will kick out 3 fe2 plus let's suppose 3 fe2 plus is kicked out but they occupy only two space one space is vacant right and thus you will create metal deficient defect hope you understand see fe3 plus one f two fe3 plus can easily kick out three fe2 plus correct so two fe3 plus can handle three of fe2 plus based on charge so these two of these will kick out three fe2 plus the one in the blue and there will be void created here thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get pre study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again